Hey there! I hope you're doing well. So in the last favorites video that I ever put up, I mentioned I was super bummed out because my pink holy grail lip gloss, the Chanel Rouge Allure gloss in number 57 Insolence has officially run out. No more scraping or amount of hacks could make more product come out of this little canister. And I was sad because my favorite and most worn lip look I've done in the past year is layering the Tony Moly Lip Tone Get It Tint at the very center of my lips and then using the Chanel lip gloss to make it an easy ombre kissable pink look. So I wanted to find a color similar to 57 with in the Chanel Rouge Allure line because I like the formula so much. And I wanted to do a little bit of a mini review on why I like the formula so much and what I found that matches this guy the most closely. So I am a lipstick person more than anything. I feel like I really like the color payoff in lipsticks and glosses to me, even though you can mix them with lipsticks and create totally new lip looks, seemed a little bit unnecessary until I found number 57. I really like the Rouge Allure lip gloss because I feel that you can get a pretty good amount of pigmentation within the gloss and it lasts a long time for a lip gloss. I like my lip glosses to be a little bit on the thicker side, but not so much that it's sticky and annoying. I don't like really oily lip glosses where you kind of put your applicator in there, brush it on your lips, and you wonder if you've kind of just put a can of canola oil straight on there. This Rouge Allure gloss walks the line of being a little bit on the thicker side. And I don't think this is a negative. I've seen some people on review sites say that the consistency of this gloss is a little bit much for them. But when I rub my lips together when I'm wearing it, it doesn't feel sticky or heavy. It just feels like I've put a layer of chapstick on. It feels like very moisturizing and it doesn't make me it doesn't make me annoyed like you know those lip glosses that you put on that like your lips kind of stick together cuz it's so tacky this isn't like that so i like it because again it has good pigmentation it stays on and i find that it moisturizes really well and the moisturization fact is backed up by chanel because on their site they say that their formulation of the rouge allure gloss has satin wood green tea butter, and a vitamin E derivative. Now, I definitely won't use this alone as a chapstick-like thing, but I definitely feel that it helps keep the moisture of my lips up. So in addition to all those good things, the design of the actual lip gloss itself has changed. Before, it was in a pretty sturdy plastic container with a simple screw top wand applicator, and there was a Chanel logo at the top that was engraved in. But the new lip glosses feel like they're made out of a thin metal. When I pick up the two, the newer gloss feels colder for some reason, and you can get your wand applicator out now by a simple click versus a screw top, but they both have the same wand chisel tip at the end. These are definitely like extra add-ons that a makeup product doesn't necessarily need, but I can see why Chanel does it because it's like the whole dog and pony show of, you know, you're spending X amount of money for a lip gloss, you're going to get your value in terms of product and the presentation. So I'm sure there are, you know, cheaper alternatives to these specific colors, but I I like them and I use them often enough and singularly enough that I don't mind putting in the investment on a couple of these glosses. So I mentioned in the favorites video that when I brought 57 to the counter, the service ladies were like, this is really old. And the color that she initially suggested to me was number 13 in Afriolant. But looking at them now in like daylight, I realize that these two colors are not even similar at all. The Insolence color is more of a bubblegum pink, while the Afriolant is sort of a deeper coral. So when I was searching online, I found that the Chanel Rouge Allure colors in 15 and 16 were slightly closer in terms of color matching. So I wanted to purchase those and really see how they swatched. So I'll get into the swatches right now so you can see everything side by side. 
What I wanted to do here was show just the wands and their base color without any help of the stickers. So this is 57, the original color we're trying to match. This is 15, this is 13, and this is 16. And right off the bat, you can tell with 57, it more closely matches 15 and 13 than it does the 16. And I have the swatches here on my arm in the same order, you know, 13, is this guy, 15 is this guy, 57 is this guy, and 16 is this one. And you can tell 15 is actually the closest match to 57 versus the stronger, more vibrant colors of 16 and 13. So if you're looking for a nice understated look, go for this guy, but I've definitely started wearing this one a lot more for that va va boom pop of pink. So I hope this helps. So that's it. Originally, I wanted this video to be just a quick, like, two minute video of the swatches of all the colors together, but I realized how bad of an idea that was because you would have no context in which I'd been looking and hunting for the elusive number 57. So I made it a little bit longer. I talked a little bit more about why I like the Rouge Allure glosses and why they're always my go-to when I'm going for lip gloss. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you like this video, feel free to check out some of the others on my channel. And if you like, you can subscribe too. No pressure though. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey there and welcome back. So I wanted to share with you an exciting, well not so exciting, 